Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to Sim UK. Welcome back to Second Front from Microprose. This is the exclusive playtest. I have read, I've skim read, skim read, I think it's a fair uh, analysis of what I've done, the manual, which is quite long, quite detailed, quite confusing. So what I need to get my head around in this game is that this is primarily, I think, based on tabletop gameplay, something like Axis and Allies, that kind of situation. I'm not used to that, so it feels a little bit odd to me at the moment, but from what I've read, it's got everything in it that I want. It's got um, in, uh, repairs for vehicles, it's got malfunctions to weapons and all sorts of things. You've got heroes, there's a whole load of stuff in here. I think the only way I can possibly learn how to play this to just jump in and play and before I do jump in and play I just want to say one thing for the developers why are there no British units in this game I'm actually quite miffed about that um, I don't know who they think won the war it wasn't the Americans on their own very much not the case but to have no British soldiers in here at all I think is outrageous um, and I just want to say that once and hopefully we'll see some change uh, moving forward off the back of that. But I just wanted to make it clear that I'm, I'm not particularly happy about that. Let's move on. I think we're going to start our next mission with the German unit, which is a little odd. Farmhouse. In the crazy mud between February and March 1942, in what was to be known as the <laughs> okay, you've stumped me on this one. Raihev Vlyazma, strategic offence operation. German forces were pushed back from Moscow. As a result, a salient was formed along the front line in the direction of the capital, which became known as the <laughs> thing again. It was strategically important due to the threat it posed to Moscow and was therefore heavily fortified and strongly defended. The battered remnants of Heeresgruppen Mitt were defending the sector on the 27th of February. Elements of the 6th, 6th Infantry Decision Division were tasked with forming alert units to limit the frequent Russian penetrations by elements of the 2nd Ukrainian Front. One such assault began with a clash at a farmhouse on the edge of a neighbouring village. Move a squad into the hex with the MMG on ground. Grab the MMG by left clicking on the MMG symbol. Oh, well, you can pick up weapons. Wow. Okay. An officer can recombine two half squads of the same type into one full squad. This can be done if the squads and officers are not pinned, broken, or engaged in melee. Full squad is stronger than its two half squads. Right. So where is the square with the mountain machine gun in it? Ah, there. We're going to sneak out and take that gun. How do I pick it up? click on it. Ah, uh, there we go. Now we have it. Right, so that's that go ended. So, they've got really good visibility up here, but hardly any down here. So I think attacking them from down the bottom here is going to be quite easy, which is a little bit surprising. Right, let's have these units... Whoops. So this is their line of sight. These guys could actually put some fire down there. Okay, we missed, but now we've got their attention, which is what I wanted, so that we can 
maybe we'd have to run to do this. Oh. I didn't actually mean to click on that. Anyway, we survived that attack. We're going to re-evaluate and come into the trees. So these guys are going to sneak up one position and they're going to put some fire on these guys. There's a light machine gun in there. Okay. Okay. Let's see how we get on here. So, okay, the fire phase. So this is automatically skipping on. Sometimes I still don't understand why. So this is the advanced phase, so we can move one extra position. I quite like this, it's quite clever. This single advance section, I think it makes a lot of sense. Okay, this is good. Feeling quite confident. <clears throat> so you've got a certain number of turns to complete your objective, but um, every every turn you take will reduce the amount of reward points you get. So we've absolutely destroyed these guys. They are done for. I don't think anyone else has got a line of sight to fire. No, okay. I'm going to sneeze. I'm sorry, I've still got hay fever. Hate you! Sorry about that. Right, so we've routed one unit already. Their officer has rallied them. He's pushing them forward and they're trying to take territory. So now this is our turn. I get it. So we get like five phase movement then they get a five phase movement and so on and so on I think that's how it's working right. want these chaps to sneak into this gap here I want these chaps it's a shame you can't force the movement where you want it so this is interesting but I didn't know what these meant because when you hover over it, it doesn't say anything. But in the manual, it explains that if you're to do this move, in fact, it may even be both moves, you're going to come under fire. Um, whether or not that's excessive fire, I'm not sure. We're going to walk, because it always recommends walking over anything else. Actually, I kind of feel like that's a good spot. Now, I could run to there. Not take any fire. And now I've got line of sight on these guys. Right. So they've still got long range fire, which is a bit disappointing. I was hoping I could push up on them. Because we, we all missed, basically. They haven't fired any rounds of their own. Right, so we're going to take significant... If you see here... So the, let me try and do this without actually doing it. So we can only walk. We are going to come under fire. And we're going to come under fire with no protection whatsoever. That's what these icons mean. We definitely don't want to do that. Quite happy to move over here. And this is even better because we won't come under fire at all. We still have we still have a move option. We've actually managed to come round and we're in the house. And that gives us a really interesting position here. We can push right up against them. This MG. I'm going to sneak them into position. Hopefully, they're going to put some heavy fire down. Okay. 
Okay, so they're making a stand. I think that's, that's our move done. There's a bit of a firefight going on here. Now, you can advance one square. A bit of cover from the wall here. Positioning. We've got excellent line of sight. So they're still unusable. Recovery phase. Oh, they're repositioning. I think they're aware of our position over here. Yeah. Now that's left this open, so I think we could push them. We've only got a fire phase. I can't get a shot off with these guys. Can't get a shot off with these guys. Oh wow. They position themselves well. Can't actually shoot them at all. Perhaps I should have stayed in the building. I'm starting to get this now. By playing it, I'm starting to get the rhythm of it. Wow, look at this. They're pushing hard. We may need to pull back a bit here. So we're going to come under fire even though we're sneaking, I think that means. Okay. So I'm going to push right up on them now, covered by my team here. come around this way we're not going to take any fire these guys are pinned right down push up with our second unit you see we've really turned the tide now I think we're in a strong position going to run. Yeah, they've been totally routed. So this is the advance phase. So I'd already planned to push my MG up. So we've now got the machine gun with all visibility down here. We've got these guys with all visibility. There are at least three units that can now attack them. And I think that puts us in a really strong position. fire phase oh, annoyingly I can't get a shot on them no nope, I can't get a shot with anyone I think that's a skill I'm gonna learn later Wow, they've pushed back into the house. I'll admit, that was unexpected. Okay, so we've wiped out one of their units. The MG actually can't get any shots off, which is a little disappointing. Okay. 
Okay, we've absolutely broken them now. They're going to run. I mean, I think you can see from the way I'm playing, I still don't quite have it in my head. I can't predict what's going to happen at all. Victory! Four turns, 12 points. I don't think that's very good. Yeah, I could have done much better than that. And I think I've learned a huge amount from that victory about how the game is meant to be played. So I'm, I'm learning every time I play. Initial Soviet forces committed by the Kal Kalinin and Western Front included the 22nd, 29th, 30th 31st, 39th, the former and the first shock, 5th, 10th, 16th, 20th and 33rd, 43rd, 49th and 50th armies and three cavalry corps for the latter. The intent was for the 22nd, 22nd army, 29th army and 39th armies, supported by the 11th cavalry corps, to attack West Reserve penetrate deep into the western flank of Army Group Centre 9th Army with the goal of cutting off the salient. This was nearly achieved in January and by the end of the month the Cavalry Corps found itself 110 kilometres in the depth of German flank. To eliminate this threat to the rear of the Army Group Centre's 9th Army, the Germans had started Operation Seidlitz on the 2nd of July. However, Due to the nature of the terrain, the supply route of the troops in the Soviet 22nd Army, 29th Army and 39th Armies, which attempted to enlarge the penetration, became difficult. They were encircled. The cutting of a major highway to reserve Reeve, by the cavalry signalled the commencement of the Torpets Colm Offensive. We've got another German mission unlocked. Let's see if we can do any better with this. So, this is fatigue. Um, so we've got more weapons than them. We are far less fatigued than them. So we're in a really good position. <clears throat> Early in the morning, all across the Soviet frontier, German troops were swarming in an effort to seize vital bridges to enable the Panzer forces to move forward. In some cases, the found bridges destroyed by the retreating Red Army. At Volodymyr Belinsky, the bridge was blown. Even more, the opposite bank was held by determined Red Army troops to put up a fierce resistance so that no engineers could repair the bridge work. The water, however, was not deep, and German forces moved forward with their light armour to drive back the resistance, allowing the bridge to be repaired and get the invasion back on a timetable. Okay. Cool. Trucks and jeeps are vulnerable. Better to unload out of view of the enemy. To switch between the vehicle and the infantry in a hex, left click on the hex again. Vehicles like tanks are either in motion or stopped. It costs one movement point to start and stop. In order to drive, a vehicle must be started. To fire efficiently, the vehicle must be stopped. Rotating 60 degrees when started also costs a movement point. That's quite smart. I like that. The move and stop button lets you your now stop tank start, move to that position and stop again. The move button lets it start and move to that position leaving the engine still running. This is preferable when you want to move faster and avoid wasting time with starting and stopping. Gotcha. When firing the tank gun after it has moved you get extremely poor. Move to a new hex aiming and extremely poor. The engine is running aiming the target is behind a bush. Hindrance and woods hex. Smoke indicates that the engine is running. Ah, interesting fact about smoke, which I haven't discussed yet because we haven't really seen it. But you'll see up here in the left-hand corner, we've got a compass pointing towards north. 
but we also have a wind direction indicator. Now this wind direction indicator will indicate which way the smoke will blow. Never seen that before in a hex game, I think it's really cool. I take the turret to aim at the target with the gun and the TMG. Close the hatch to protect your tank crew from rifle and MG fire. Driving on a road with open hatch costs only half a movement point. Surely an open hatch would be easier to drive, right? Get all this information here. High explosives. A lot of information here, which at first glance you're like, I don't fully get it. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. This means poor aiming, poor aiming opportunity solution. Um, and this means that the enemy that you're aiming at are behind a tree, so obstructed as well. When firing the gun, there is a probability that 1% the gun will malfunction. There you go, malfunctions, that's what I was talking about earlier. Um, presumably you have engineers that can repair them. There is a 33% chance that the gun will reload and you can immediately fire again. That's the reload option, yeah. There is a 17% chance for a hit on the target. And that's based on this solution. I'm glad it's explaining this now. You get better one fire adjacent aiming, that just means we're close. But also poor aiming because the hatch is closed. That's what that means, okay. An extremely poor move to new hex aiming. That's really bad. The target is in a woods hex, which means poor cover, but cover nonetheless. You first need a hit to get a chance to damage the target. Probabilities for the target shown will come in play only if there is a hit. Roger. In case the gun reloads, 33% chance, you can immediately fire again. Whenever you fire at the same hex again, you get an additional times one good aiming. The same hex is highlighted green as long as you don't fire the gun to another hex or move your vehicle. It's a good idea to fire with your stock vehicle at a hex even with a low chance to prepare the next shot. Roger. In case the gun reloads a second time, you can meet a second time, so you could potentially fire three shots here. You can immediately fire again. This time you will get two times better aiming for having fired twice at the same hex already. This is the maximum aiming you can get for firing at the same hex. Right. Okay. So the bridge is damaged. Some reinforcements over here. Mounted machine gun. Not really zoomed in before, but look at this. This really does add a little something to the game, doesn't it? This is so cool. I just love the way that they've designed everything here. It looks brilliant. So we've got mounted machine gun there. I mean, there could be other units that we don't actually know about. They can only fire. They can't fire here. They can't fire there. They can't fire there. They can. But they can get us here. So going there is not an option. A safe option anyway. Unless I could do something to take out this unit. I can't drive, oh I can drive across. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to take some shots at these guys. I could also bring up some tanks. Maybe putting, uh, oh, it looks like we've got mortars on this vehicle. Why does the arrow go like that? Okay, 
I'm going to position myself. But from this position, I will have line of sight on these guys. Park and face in a certain number of directions. I, I don't think that was explained very well. <laughs> but now I'm actually facing the target, whereas this guy is not facing the target. And I've got the rear of my tank facing them, which is not a good idea. Turn the gun towards them. So these are the firing options I have. High explosive rounds. I don't know what the difference between this one and this one is, I'll be honest with you. But there's a 25% chance of completely demoralizing the enemy here. Gun has malfunctioned. And it needs repairing. Okay. Right, we're going to do the same thing with these guys. Look at the solutions. Second shot chance, it happened. Well, I actually managed to get three loads off on them there. But somehow these guys are not in the least bit bothered by what we just did to them. You would think they'd be a little bit. really hammering these guys hard but it's not really quite working out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my tank up here and stop. And then I'm going to get a firing solution on these guys. Actually I was going to aim at these guys. But for some reason I can't do that. I don't know. She can't get any shots off on any of these guys either. Okay. Still learning. Very much still learning. Right, let's bring these chaps up. We got them, we got them. So these guys are now weakened. But they're the only guys that can shoot us here, so they can no longer shoot us. So this tank is actually protected. Um, annoyingly, you can't get a shot on this, but 
Touches life, I guess. Right. Let's let's move on. Let's just see what happens. So out of all of that, I oh know they didn't get extra. So they managed to get four rounds of shots on us. These guys are pulled back. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Now, if I could do the same with these guys. Oh, this because this is an advanced phase, isn't it? move which is the men can no the men can't move either only some of them can move okay, so we're going to move those men into the trees they're already in the trees none of the vehicles can move during an, during an advance phase it seems on recovery phase are they going to recover no nope. still out of fight which is great PMG destroyed wow but they've moved which is unexpected they're pushing in look at this and they're less broken now, so they're going to be coming back into the fight. I'm absolutely sure of it. So this has a light machine gun. It's the fire phase, right? Can, I definitely want to take out this uh, machine gun. Got a second shot. They're broken. Third shot. Look at that. And a machine gun. Yeah, they've taken a hell of a thwack. So this mountain machine gun have been silenced. Do I have an officer anywhere? In Weber, so we're going to move. Oh, we can't move him. We'll fire things. We're going to turn to face these guys. We can't fire at them, it seems. Okay, let's press on. I think I've made a few mistakes here, but I've cleared this left hand side temporarily. The machine gun's been left behind. These guys have been routed. We can recover them, that'll be fine. We're going back into the trees. They're coming across. They're going to try and get to the MG, I think. But maybe this is our opportunity to push across as quick as possible. This is a move and fire phase. I'm hoping the bridge is going to give us some protection from the enemy here. But it seems that way. Right, we're going to 
absolutely smash these guys. Gun malfunctioned. That's so helpful. Oh, they've been absolutely smashed to bits there. It was a brave move by them, but they've really struggled. The result. Look at this. Another range of... Oh, wow. I do feel sorry for them. Can't see how they can still be operational for much longer. Oh, hang on. I don't think this vehicle can go through the water as well. I think I've drowned the engine. Which I didn't know was a thing until literally that second. We've killed one unit, we've totally broken them. Hopefully he'll rally those guys back. They're getting totally obliterated, aren't they? They can't move because I fired the gun. Desperate shots coming from here. These guys can't do anything. The two star general has routed. I think we should be able to get across now. I wonder how I repair the bridge. I'm fairly sure that must be a possibility. They're trying to gather themselves. They've gathered themselves very well. TMG failed. This TMG failed, but I'm not quite sure where that's coming from. I assume this guy, but... No. Right, they are coming back. They are re-positioning, re-evaluating, and getting ready to fight. Only a fire phase. Aim at the enemy. Nobody can get any shots off. I 
could be in trouble here. to that MMG. Here we go. Move and fire phase. slow going with these. So I think the water's too deep this side to drive across. to do I want to get some shots on here but I can't because he hasn't got the line of sight bit of a problem this tank is somewhat wasted here They're now pinned. Can't get a second shot off, unfortunately. I think we're going to be able to hold them off. I think they're going to get to that machine gun. But there are officers and things on here. I should probably get them out of that vehicle, I guess. See what happens. We didn't take too much fire there. progress. Now we've got a lot of Russians on this side. Could become a bloodbath by now. fire phase. They're broken. They're 
end. And give them as much of a hard time as possible. That's all we can do. Okay, so there's a few units that have rallied over here. Repaired TMG, which is always good. I don't feel like tanks should necessarily get too far forward. If you know. Now these guys are going to come under the fire. No, they're not. That's interesting. That's because it's a vehicle. What I'm trying to do is stop these guys from attacking my ground units as they try and push forwards. So I can get my ground units off the ground, out of the water, onto the ground. So this vehicle cannot get across. Let's unload the guys. Kind of makes sense. I think maybe I'm being too cautious. If anyone tries to run across here, we've got an excellent line of sight. So we should cause huge amounts of carnage. This is the advanced phase. Okay, so we can push up. And now, partially on the ground. Stronghold here, though. Right, the 
move and fire phase. Just the fire phase, okay. So we've wiped out a unit there, that would be surprising. Sites. Okay. No line of sight. a lot of failures, weapon failures. Right. I would very much like these guys to come and take that mounted machine gun before the enemy do. Wow, we lost a lot of units then. Depress the enemy first. out that unit, that unit's now gone. Came under fire again. I don't think we're doing very well here. <laughs> Do we have an option to advance? We'll push up here. We've picked up the mounted machine gun.
but this is purely a fire phase. And with that extra mounted machine gun, we did some real damage there. Well, these guys are partially broken now. something's on fire this is another thing fires can spread and depending on the temperature um, like here it's it's not particularly warm or cold depending on the temperature the drier it is the quicker fires spread so that's quite beneficial for us that fire um, can't get any shots shots but I want to turn my targets on them anyway. Get the dump. Okay. Enemy's gonna escape. That's their two star general. He's probably our biggest concern, so it's good that we've got him on the run. So I've got a one-star general here. He's trying to rally that general. So if we can stop that from happening, that would be very good for us. Can I move on this turn? Or is it my turn to move? Definitely done them some damage. Definitely giving them a hard time. So I'm gonna risk going into the forest. And hope that the fire doesn't spread too quickly. some effort to reduce the firepower of the enemy there. No line of sight. I don't know how well tanks can go through uh, forests. I'm guessing not that well. Quarters battle going on. Actually, don't know how to repair bridges at all. Right, well, I think that's all my units moved. I think we've broken their backs now. Can't see how they can come back from this. We've got an ambush going on there. They can't move. Very, very 50-50 over here. Oh, I think they wiped us out. Wow, that is surprising because they've taken quite a battering. So they they took my they killed my units. That is interesting. These guys are now stunned, getting hit from both sides. 
wasn't expecting them to be able to do that against the tank, but they have done it. Fire phase, so he can't do anything because he's stunned. These guys are now broken. Basically, have no shots available to me. These guys are going to run. A defeat! Oh no! Okay, so you only have seven turns in order to do that. I'm going again. I learned a lot about the game in that little scenario. Okay. Tutorial we can skip. Bring the tanks right up where we want them. deep to drive that way. Having said that, I did like having line of sight over here, so I think I'm going to return to that stance. We'll start putting pressure on these guys. routed them this time. Standing strong. Now they're pinned. So these guys, yeah, I'm gonna say they're gonna get they're gonna get pinned. Everybody's had a go. We've made our position clear. But really, I want to get my men to land here and push through the trees. Trying to be a bit more forward momentum. Now this is where they can hurt us, I guess. Except they all pull back. That's very unexpected. 
broken them. Well, this is just the fire phase, okay. I don't think we have line of sight of anything here, so we can't do much. This guy's going to pull back, almost certainly. So at the moment, we, we're basically free to push across. Pretty decent. It is slow going. taking some punishment right there. Still standing as well, which is just insane. They came under fire. Now I feel like we're in a bit of a bad situation. stop these guys from routing. But now they're going to put their counter-attack in place. taken so much punishment and yet they don't appear to be phased at all. So we've, we've killed 
killed those guys. Well, that's where the two star general is, is over this side this time. Probably why it feels very different. If I could get some shots on here, we'd be laughing. This is the moving fire phase. Who do I want to fire on? Probably the general. Broken one of them. of rounds. Certainly isn't easy this game. I'm hoping that the tanks give us some protection when they're in front of or in the same hex as infantry. turns again. <clears throat> Become the problem. Sight again. Ah, damn it. Mountain machine gun.
the shots off there. Somehow I've got to push this way. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Could have broken them first, shouldn't I? I think I'm going to fail again. I'm starting to really enjoy the tactical element of this game, but there's a lot of things going on all at the same time, and still sort of learning what the icons and the, what, what the situations mean. These guys are totally broken. They just run off again. I don't understand why they've pulled back. Putting up a final fight there, I guess. rather ineffective. But the good news is that my team have routed in the direction that I want them to go. Uh, so that's pretty good. These guys are almost unbroken. I can't see how they could possibly get there without getting absolutely trounced. They stunned us. I wasn't expecting that either. I may have done myself. Could have been a bit of a, a wrong move here. break them. They are 
are still unbroken. This guy's broken again, but still they're pushing in the direction I want them to go. So that could really help us out. One unit back. He's an officer, so he should help turn that unit as well. I don't feel like we've done as well this time. That worked out really well for us. And that. They just ran straight into a unit. Are looking up a little bit here. Don't have line of sight, huh? It's frustrating. Again, our men have run to exactly where I'd like them to go. them down. some damage against them, but not enough. Oh, I didn't move my tanks. Damage. 
Oh, game is very hard. going on here another defeat god damn it Ugh. i am learning every time i lose and enjoying it a lot I'm just going to keep playing until i get better thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next one Bye for now.